GOP legislators pushing through a bill that would make high school graduations exempt from any COVID restrictions. Aaron Parsegian has a look at what this would change as schools are scrambling to finalize plans. Class of 2020. From virtual pomp and circumstance to a drive through ceremony for graduating seniors, 2020 was a unique year to say the least. So what we'll, we have planned for this year is what we did last year. And we have a lot of positive feedback from students and staff from last year. We call it a drive through Right now, school districts like Rockford are planning similar commencement ceremonies to last year. Superintendent Mike Scheibler says based on the COVID-related capacity restrictions that are still in place, normal in-person ceremonies are not feasible. That would put us in a situation where we'd have to do at least probably three graduations. And that doesn't seem plausible. But a new proposal could change those plans. On Wednesday, the GOP Majority Senate passed a bill that would make high school graduation ceremonies exempt from state health orders, giving school districts the green light to choose how they want to hold commencements. Let's begin to safely reduce the number of decrees from the Lansing political towers and create more autonomy to safely give our kids, families, this one very important moment in their lives. Republican Senator Jim Runstead introduced the bill back in March. So if our local school districts can hold safe events now only one month down the road they should be able to do so we can't give them back everything they have missed but we can permit them this last irreplaceable high school memory giving them the safe simple and memorable graduation democrats shot back on the floor one senator calling the legislation utter nonsense no one is opposed to graduation ceremonies nobody is trying to prevent them from happening there are reasonable discussions that we could have of exactly how and where and how things work. And this body's job is not to say that just because it feels good, we can do anything we want. But the problem is, is that this place doesn't care about facts any longer at all. The bill was passed by both chambers Wednesday, just one day after Governor Whitmer removed mass requirements for outdoor events of 100 people or less. Under her back to normal plan, the state is on pace to ease all restrictions by the beginning of July. For Fox 17 News, I'm Aaron Parsegian.